Hey what's up chumps, it's your boy Senior Skeef here and today I'm going to be talking mad shit about someone who's a lot more successful than I am. So let, 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 let's jump right into it. Oliver Tree! What the fuck happened? Today we're going to be talking about how the very talented man, Oliver Tree, has fallen from grace quicker than a rabbit can bust a nut inside of a Coke can. Now this is a sad video for me to make because for the past few years, I've been quite a big Oliver Tree fan. I remember when his first album came out in 2020, Ugly is Beautiful. Me and my, my two good friends used to sit in this exact room that I'm in right now and we used to play Call of Duty. I don't know which one it was because I'm not a nerd. And we'd have the album on my computer on repeat, just over the speakers. We'd just repeat, 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 re-listen to the album over and over again because that shit slapped harder than a rabbit's nuts on the rim of a coke can while he's fucking it and i still love that album but sadly after that came out it was it was all downhill from there now of course music is subjective and i'm sure there are many people that like the music that he's putting out at the moment however i think it's quite dog shit to be quite frankly with you he set a very high standard with ugly is beautiful and then it's like he said fuck it let's put out the most dog shit music that we possibly can let's just ruin everyone's expectations let's set the bar so low that you should be able to top it again but we never will so he did soon after his deluxe came out he released an ep with a russian group called little big that has made some questionable music in the past not gonna lie i kind of fuck with this one though but anyway it fucking sucked think of the worst possible sounds that could burst your eardrums and just bass boost it by a thousand. And if that wasn't bad enough, he announced the following year, in 2022, he would be releasing a new album called Cowboy Tears. And I was thinking, all right, okay, we're back on track. New album, 2022. He fell off for a little bit, but he's back. New Oliver Tree, new album, let's go. Oliver Tree's gonna slay in 2022. Oliver Tree did not slay in 2022. He bombed harder than a- My lawyers have advised me not to finish this joke. That was a good one. Um, yeah, Cowboy Tears is one of the worst albums I've heard in a long time. And uh, it saddens me. It just confuses me how he went from such a, uh, an emotional, powerful, all over the place masterpiece that was Ugly Is Beautiful to just the most boring dog shit music I've ever heard, which to me has like two listenable songs. Now I just wanna say, I don't listen to an album once and then just talk shit about it on the internet. Uh, I, I don't think you've probably listened to an album unless you've heard it through start to finish like two or three times. Everything that I've reviewed on this channel, I have at least watched or listened to at least more than once because I don't think you can have a real opinion if you've just skimmed through it once and then you can just go, oh, that's shit. I tried with this album. I listened through a good amount of times, quite a few, because I really wanted to like it because I loved the other one so much. And I couldn't. I could not love this piece of shit. It feels like it's supposed to be a parody album making fun of himself. Random, but look at this sweater I'm wearing. How cool, how dope is it? Very random to mention it at this point in the video, but look at this shit. Holy smokes. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. It's Christmas, it was, it, cause it's like Christmas time, I thought, I don't know, I, my sister bought this for me after the Nightmare Before Christmas video and that one I tried to wear a Christmas sweater but I didn't have one so I just wore this red one and now I have one so I thought I'd wear it in this one but it doesn't really suit the video but I just, don't judge me for it, I just thought it'd be cool. I think it's kind of a dope sweater so I'm just, I'm gonna wear it and you're gonna ignore it. I mean you're not gonna ignore it, you're gonna pay a lot of attention to it because it's so dope. Anyway. And I'm sure there are going to be people who are like, Oh, no, 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 it's a, it's a parody album. He's doing it on purpose. That's the, the character. It's the point. It's all of a tree. You're supposed to hate it. That's the point. And that might be the case. But you can still make listenable bad music if that is really what you're trying to do. Dua Lipa does that like every week. It's like when 21 Pilots' newest album came out. Everyone was like, oh, no, no. It's supposed to be really shit and unlistenable. It's a part of the 21 Pilots law. It has meaning. It's smarter. They're so much smarter than you. You just don't get it. I might do a video on that because it's also really fucking bad. Like, shut the fuck up. Pink Guy made better music than that when he was rapping about his dick and balls. Anyway, this album just sucks absolute turd. And I love Oliver Tree, so it's... Su 
hang on, what does a script say? I'm not allowed to show actual opinions. I've written them down beforehand. And I love Oliver Tree, so it sucks to say that. I really wish I could like the album. I didn't expect much from him when he said it was a country album, because I thought it was a joke. And then he actually did it. And there's a pause, I wrote to do a pause in there and then say so, as if I was about to say something else, but cut it out. I'm one step ahead of you. And now I'm gonna put the actual clip of me recording it in after. And I love Oliver Tree, and it sucks to say that, because I really wish I could like the album. I didn't really expect much when he said it was gonna be a country album, because I thought he was joking, uh, but then he actually did it, so. Anyway, after he went on tour for a bit and uh, faked retiring a few times, because that's the only way he's gonna sell tickets to his shows, because it's his last performance ever, he did that a good handful of times. And then somehow, things got worse. The remixes. Now up until this point, he had already milked a certain song for five remixes, that song being Life Goes Onion, then stole someone's remix of his own song, which they were allowed to make and given permission from my understanding. I understand that it was his song, but after giving permission to someone to make a remix and then just uploading it yourself and making money off it, probably a lot more money than they are, uh, just seems a bit scummy, in my humble opinion, as someone who knows nothing about the music industry. And then he proceeded to make seven fucking remixes of that song. Seven. All of which being unlistenable. 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 That sounds so strange. And don't get me wrong, the original song is really good, but but this shit's just, shit, this, this, this shit's just fucking sad. And it's not even just him doing it either. I don't want to put all the focus on him. Steve Lacey bit the bullet and uploaded a sped up version of his song too. I want to say that it's not as bad, but it kind of is because instead of putting shitty, unlistenable remixes out, he just re-released his own song, Sped Up. And he seems to get upset when people get the lyrics wrong when he's performing because of TikTok, but then release a sped up version of that song because that's what people prefer on TikTok. Are you fucking stupid? So he's changing his own song and re-releasing it because it's more popular that way on TikTok. And that's not very cool, not gonna lie. No cap on my mama on God. If an artist has to speed up their own song just so people will listen to it because that's how they prefer it, it kind of says a lot about their intentions and how little they must care for their music. And I'm not saying that Oliver Tree or Steve Lacey doesn't care about their music because they both clearly do because it's so well crafted, but after the fact of making the music, it seems like they just don't care about it and they just want to ruin it and tarnish it and just get as much moolah out of it as possible. Again, I know nothing about the music industry. Anyway, Oliver Tree made insanely good music and then he, uh, he fell off. And my dick fell off. What the fuck? So, uh, basically, to sum up this video, Oliver Tree fell off. He made really good, outstanding, different music that was sending him somewhere insane. The trajectory of his career was rising and going straight up. And then he thought, I'm a fall off. off. And so he fell off. But yeah, it's just sort of getting annoying and it's tiring. And the reason I'm making this video is because I'm sick of seeing people re-release their own music sped up and just, it just seems like they don't respect themselves. It's like they're just selling out. That, that's the new way of selling out is just sped up music. And I thought it was like, okay, when other people would like re-release these songs on SoundCloud, not the actual artist, but a fan would take the song and like slow it down and put reverb on it and then title it as such and then put it on SoundCloud or something. Like that's cool, that's fan interaction, it's cool. But when the artist does it themselves, it just feels kind of scummy. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'll change my opinion in a week. But as of now, those are my thoughts, so I made them into a video. It's like a time capsule. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm, I think I'm just frustrated because I'm a big <coughs> because I'm a big Oliver Tree fan. And over the years, he's just been, <laughs> I guess, more and more annoying and just sort of ruining his reputation. And he's always been known sort of to be annoying as a joke, like it's sort of his character. His character was like Turbo. So he had, he had that character for that album called Turbo and he was sort of an asshole. And he made this rebellious punk music. And I think it really worked. And then he somehow forgot that he had done that and it worked. And he tried 
to do something else. And I respect trying to do something else. I think it's annoying when an artist only does the same thing. But in this case, this is not the new thing that he should be doing. I wouldn't be upset. I don't think people would be upset if he had just put out an album that was bad. I think it's more annoying that he put out an album that it seems like he didn't try with. It just seems like he doesn't care about what he's doing anymore and he just cares about the money or just being popular. He doesn't care if he's popular for good reason or bad. He just wants to be popular. So he does things like put out really shitty music and try to be big on TikTok. But uh, people don't really care anymore and I'm blabbering on. So I'm gonna end it here. Anyway, thanks for watching. This album sucks ass. It seems very lazy, like he does not care for it. Maybe I'll re-listen someday and like it, just like I did with Speeding Bullet to Heaven. I hated that when I first heard it. After listening to it a little more, I adore it. So maybe I'll like this one a little later. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe. Go watch my uh, Halloween review. I very much appreciate it. And uh, comment below if there's some sort of album or film that me and Beyonce should uh, review next. I'll, I'll take any suggestions, anything. Just, just comment. Unless I really don't want to, and then I won't. But if I do like the idea, sure, I'll do it. You don't know if I'll do it or not. This is worth trying. What are you still doing here? My viewer retention for these parts of the videos are not that high. So if you're the only one here, what the fuck are you doing here? Skedaddle. Ha, <laughs> he's kissed my balls.